Hello friends, this video on NEET genetics is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Progeria, a genetic disorder which is very very rare and which is characterized by premature aging. So what do we mean by premature aging? So this means that at a very tender age, the signs of aging starts to appear and that too severe signs of aging. For example, in a child of maybe 8 years old, 9 years old or 10 years old, the appearance would be almost like a very very old man maybe of the age of 60. So in fact, there was uh, a Bollywood movie uh, based on this disease, uh, based on a similar disease was made where a child which was who was like a teenaged child, but still he had the symptoms or by looking at him, you would not feel that he is a child. He looks like a very old man. So that is premature aging. And this is also genetic disorder because when something goes wrong with the genes, this disease occurs. Now when the because of this premature aging there are so much of complications that 90% of the patients die. Very few of them exceed the age of 13 years. So most of the children they die somewhere around 10, 11 or 12 years of age. So when you talk about the genetics of this disease, so we can say that this disease in a way is autosomal dominant in the sense that one copy of the altered gene is enough to cause the disease. For example, let's say that capital R is the allele which denotes the presence of the altered gene. So whenever there is some alteration in a gene, that gene becomes defective and presence of that defective gene can cause the disease. So let's say that capital R denotes the defective gene. So if a person has capital R small r, that means the person has the disease. So even having one defective gene can cause the disease. If a person has capital R capital R, then the person definitely has the disease because both his um, genes are like defective. If a person has small r, small r, in that case, the person doesn't have the disease. So basically, looking at this pattern, you can see that even if it is present, even if one copy is present or both copies are present, in both the cases, the person gets the disease. So that way, we can say that it is a dominant disorder. And why autosomal? Because this defective gene is located on the autosomes. So in that sense, we can say that it is an autosomal dominant disorder. But there is another unique thing about this disease. Now this disease or this condition results from new mutations in a particular gene. In fact, the gene which is responsible for this disorder is the LMNA gene. And this gene provide instructions for making slightly different proteins called lamins. So this provides instructions to make some special proteins called lamins. So when there happens some new mutations in this LMNA gene, then this genetic disorder happens. And this new mutation can happen as a result of both genetic as well as environmental factors. So it is not necessary that uh, the changes or this genetic changes has to come from the parents. It is also possible that the genetic changes are new changes or new mutations which happened in the child. So even though the parents did not suffer from this disease or the grandparents never suffered from this disease, then also there is a possibility that the child might suffer from the disease because there might be some new mutations in the LMNA gene. And the moment there are new mutations in the LMNA gene, then the person can get affected by this disease. So it is generally believed to happen. This disease is believed to happen at conception rarely and permanently. So very rarely it happens when the child is conceived. At that time, the child gets this disease that is very rare. But if that happens, that happens for permanently. So it, it doesn't get rid of. So that is also a reason. Now, since it happens as a result of new mutations, therefore, this type, this disorder is often seen in people with no history of this disorder in the family. For example, let's say that the father is unaffected. The mother is also unaffected. So if I say unaffected, that means they do not, they cannot be the carrier also, right? Because if they are the carrier, then also they are affected. In this case, there is no concept of carrier because it is a dominant disorder. 
so if they are unaffected means that defective gene doesn't exist in both the parents but still there is a possibility that one out of their four children might be affected why because maybe this affected children is not getting the defected gene from the parent but in the lmna gene there is some new mutations happening and that is why the child is getting affected now it happens very rare that the parent is affected with progeria because as i said that there are so much of complications in progeria that a person doesn't even survive or a person doesn't even exceed 13 years of age so that scenario never comes when the parents are affected with progeria so this is uh, although it is a genetic disorder but this is a slightly different genetic disorder in the sense that it it is not necessary that it can only be inherited from the parents it happens due to new mutations in the lmna gene however uh, the way the disease happens in an organism that shows that it follows the autosomal dominant inheritance Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.